Friday. My name is Nicole and today I'm going to be showing you my new favorite pasta sauce recipe. Real quick before we get started, if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber, so please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you like these types of cooking videos, then make sure you give me a thumbs up. And I guess let's get started now. So the basis of this pasta sauce is a roasted tomato and garlic sauce and this is so delicious and incredibly simple to make and inspired by one of my best friends, Laura, who does this all the time. So I'm going to be using one can of diced tomatoes that I've drained all of the liquid from and two pints of fresh cherry tomatoes and I'm just going to cut those in half and then add all the tomatoes to a pan. To this, I'm gonna be adding some salt and pepper, some dried oregano, and a little bit of olive oil, just about a teaspoon. I'll have all of the measurements for the spices in the description box under this video. And for those of you who are oil-free, this makes enough pasta for about three to four people, and it's only a teaspoon of oil for the whole recipe, so it really is pretty low fat, but the oil makes a huge difference in the flavor when you're roasting. Instead of chopping up every clove, I'm just going to cut it in half and then I'm going to add both halves to the pan with the tomatoes and those are going to roast and later we can just squeeze them out and they'll be soft and sweet and super, super delicious. So the longer and slower you roast these, the better and more flavorful they're gonna be. I did about an hour and a half at 350, but I'll have some modifications if you're short on time in the description box under this video. So while that cooked, I just went ahead and started the other veggies that are going in the pasta sauce. So I used two stalks of celery that I finely diced, two medium carrots that I also finely diced, and half of a white onion. And you're gonna add all of that to the pot with about a quarter of a cup of water. I'm gonna saute in water. If you don't want to do um, low fat, you can totally use olive oil or you could use some vegan butter, but either way, you're just going to saute these until they are translucent. One thing that's important when you're building a sauce is to make sure that you season as you go. So I'm gonna season the veggies with salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, and some chili flakes. You can use the same oregano that you used earlier if you don't wanna buy extra spices, but this is a nice blend of like some basil and some other uh, dried herbs as well. And then I have a sneaky little trick. I'm gonna go into my freezer and pull out some red wine ice cubes. Now this is a great way to make sure you don't waste any wine. Sometimes if I open a bottle of wine, I can't finish it and I don't wanna waste it. Wine doesn't last very long once it's been opened. So I'll put it in ice cube trays and use it for cooking like this. If you have fresh wine, you can use about a quarter of a cup of wine to deglaze the pan. I'm going to be adding about two ice cubes to my pan and that's gonna make such a big difference with the flavor. So the alcohol is gonna cook out, but it's really going to add a ton of flavor and the instant you do this that your house is just gonna smell so incredible so I set the veggies aside and when my garlic and roasted tomatoes were done I just took a tong and kind of squeezed the garlic out so you can get every single clove out without really having to try and they should be soft and really mushable. So you wanna just take a fork and kind of mash everything together and especially make sure you mash the bits of garlic so they kind of infuse the whole sauce with roasted garlic flavor. Then I'm going to add our sauteed veggies to this and stir everything around and that is the sauce. After that, I'm going to go ahead and add my pasta. You can add any pasta that you like. I do recommend if you're trying to keep this vegan like I am, that you make sure that the pasta doesn't have any eggs in it, but most dried pasta does not. So I like to use angel hair just because I think angel hair is really delicious and it makes kind of a really satisfying bite, but you could use penne, you could use spaghetti, whatever you like. And again, having a pair of kitchen tongs is super clutch for this type of thing because when you're tossing the pasta, you can really make sure that the sauce gets incorporated into every little bit. A plating trick that I have that I absolutely love is to take your tongs and kind of twist your wrist a little bit and that makes like a pretty spiral of pasta on your plate. Obviously this isn't necessary but it just keeps things looking nice and professional and you know Instagram worthy. 
The final step of adding basil is pretty simple, but I highly recommend it. It just, again, elevates this dish to another level. It's all very simple flavors, but when you combine everything together in this way, it is so unbelievably delicious. You can really taste that everything is homemade and fresh and from scratch, and I think you guys are really going to like it. What I love about making spaghetti is it just feels like the process of cooking it and the process of eating it just feels really cozy and homey, which is like the perfect weekend feeling that you want to have. And I was thinking if any of you are planning on having a date night, this would be the perfect thing for you guys to make together. You know, one of you can be chopping, one of you can be opening a bottle of wine, you know, and you guys can just talk and hang out while you're cooking, and then you'll have a delicious, beautiful meal to share together. So I thought that would be nice. Or if any of you guys have kids, this is the perfect thing for them to make because kids love spaghetti and, you know, they can help add veggies to the pot, they can help stir just you know make sure they're supervised obviously um, but yeah I figured this would be a perfect family and or date night type situation so I hope that you guys will get into your kitchens get creative and try this recipe and I would love to know how it turns out what you think or if you have any questions so make sure you comment below this video with all of those things and I will see you guys in my next video bye